Welcome to our daily devotional series, The Daily Herald. I pray that these messages will come to you as an encouragement and a reminder to be heralds of the Lord daily. God bless you. As a root out of dry ground, June 20. For he shall grow up as a root out of dry ground. He has no form or comeliness, and when we see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. Isaiah 53, 2 The people of Jesus' day could not see beneath the disguise of humility the glory of the Son of God. He was despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. He was to them as a root out of dry ground, with no form or comeliness that they should desire him. Christ reached the people where they were. He presented the plain truth to their minds in the most forcible and simple language. The humble poor... The most unlearned could comprehend through faith in him the most exalted truths of God. No one needed to consult the learned doctors as to his meaning. He did not perplex the ignorant with mysterious inferences, nor use unaccustomed and learned words of which they had no knowledge. The greatest teacher the world has ever known was the most definite, simple, and practical in his instruction. While priests and rabbis were assuring themselves of their competency to teach the people and to cope even with the Son of God in expounding doctrine, he charged them with ignorance of the scriptures or the power of God. It is not learning of the world's greatest persons that opens the mystery of the plan of redemption. The priests and rabbis had studied the prophecies, but they failed to discover the precious proofs of the Messiah's advent, of the manner of his coming, of his mission and character. Those who claimed to be worthy of confidence because of their wisdom did not perceive that Christ was the Prince of Life. The rabbis looked with suspicion and contempt upon everything that did not bear the appearance of worldly wisdom, national exaltation, and religious exclusiveness. But the mission of Jesus was to oppose these very evils, to correct these erroneous views, and to work a reformation in faith and morals. He attracted attention to purity of life, to humility of spirit, and to devotion to God and his cause without hope of worldly honor or reward. He rejoiced in spirit as he beheld the poor of this world eagerly accepting the precious message which he brought. He looked up to heaven and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent, and has revealed them to the babes.